Can you hear that? Listen, listen. That's them Lamar haters. Them Titans fans. He made you be quiet, didn't he? The whole Ravens team. Baltimore Ravens coat. Purple trim, big body old school. Don't it feel good? The Lamar haters. Oh, he can't win a playoff game. He can't win big games. Mm. Just keep getting quiet. I know somebody going to bring up. Oh, he didn't throw no TD in this game. Mm. Did he really need to do that? As long as you get the W, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Oh man, they kept saying it. Oh, you can I heard some teams, well, they didn't beat them the other two times. They can't beat them this third time. I try to tell y'all for those who seen my preview video of this game, it's not the same. Ravens from the regular season that the Titans played. I try to tell y'all that. But you don't want to listen to me. Let's, let's, let's just get to the game. Let's get to the game. You know what I'm saying? I already know some Titan fans how sour. I seen one put up. Well, they didn't, they didn't do that in the regular season. Even Shannon Sharp had a you, you're embarrassing you. I understand you're a Titan fan, but you're embarrassing yourself right now. So next week, you're going to be watching us while you're at home. First, so the game starts off. We kicking it. That's that's when the game was starting. I was like, please let us be kicking the ball to them. Because I wanted to see the defense right off the back let the Titans know it's about to go down. So, shut down Henry. I was like, okay. Here we are. I, whole game, I was like, okay. First half, I'm like, okay. Couple plays, shut down Henry. Tannehill gets a TD. Marlon Humphrey got really he got pushed. Offensive pass interference on Brown. And it was two referees right there. That's just just thinking about it. It's like, really? I seen Ronnie Stanley tweeting about it. Even the referee that out there in New York, he even said that was a passing offensive pass interference. Two referees right in there. See, one referee is literally maybe three, four feet away from them, or very close. The other one, he he's about probably 10 feet away from I'm sitting here like everybody's seen that offensive pass interference. Even the commentators, they didn't they didn't want to say it. Cause you can tell they was going for the Titans. I'm going to get to that later. But, like, come on. But they got that, you know what I'm saying? Lamar gets the ball. Then he throws a bad pass, ends up to an interception. It was going to Boykin. If he would have threw it out, Boykin could have caught that. But the ball kind of came in. He had a rusher in his face. Um, then defense comes back out there. They hold it down. Zero to ten. So I'm like, cool. I see some people, they like, man, you know, this ain't looking good. I'm like, man, this is first quarter. It's four quarters in the game. This first quarter. And then they also kept saying over and over and over again. <laughs> when trailing by 10, the Ravens have never won. This is what they kept saying. And right now it's 0 10. Titans are up. So, we get the ball back. Lamar's 
doing his thing. Lamar's doing his thing. Then it's about third and something. Lamar went back. That pocket closed so fast. I was like, I can't even get mad at that. Like, it closed so fast. But then Tucker came out there, hit that field goal. So it's 310. I'm like, okay, defense, we just need you to stop them. And McPhee, Pernell McPhee, oh my God. Pernell McPhee was bowling. Like, about every time they like zoomed in on him, they had to hit the mute because he was saying some language. He wasn't keeping it clean, shout out to engraving. But man, bowling. Uh, number 90 was out there bowling. But man, so Lamar. He busts out a 48-yard TD. Oh. 10 to 10. Oh. Killing it. That's when the, everything started changing. Now remember, they kept saying the Ravens never came back from a 10-point deficit. Kept saying it. Then the second half comes. We get the ball because we kicked it. JK gets that TD. He ran in there. Are you? <sighs> Woo! <laughs> JK did his thing. JK and Gus, and they did. They had. And this, and this, one of the things I was worrying about before the game was Ingram. I was like, is they going to make this man active? Like, is they going to be hard-headed and not see all the signs of J.K. and Gus? Everybody's talking about them. They know that's our one-two punch. But inactive, Mark Ingram, I was like, okay. Woo. When they said that, I was like, cool, at the beginning of the game. Defense shuts them out again. Defense balling. Then Tucker comes, miss a 52-yard field goal. I was like, what? Even Tucker was even surprised. Cause when he kicked it, it just went straight. It didn't curve or anything to go in. It just kept going straight. And I think that 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 cut that surprised Tucker with that. But man. So I was like, dog, oh, they finna come back. I'm like. It's 17, uh, you know, it's 17 to 10. I'm like, dog, that would have been 20 to 10 if Tucker would have hit it. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Then defense goes out there. They only give up three. So now 17 to 13. I'm like, okay, okay. Tucker, go, then we get the ball back. They, they show Lamar. He done rushed over 100 some yards. Uh, second player to do that, rushing for as a quarterback, rushing 100 plus yards in playoff game. First was Cap, Kaepernick. But they show that. I'm like, cool. That's, you know, it's cool. But then Justin Tucker come out there. It's another 52 yarder. But this time, I'm like, Tucker got it. Tucker, I have never seen Tucker miss two straight. That's in his range. Cause they said in um before the game he's hitting 58. So this one's a 52. He missed a 52 earlier. So this one, I guess his calculations, whatever he do, him in the wolf pack, that thing went straight down the middle. It was not nowhere near of him missing it. Next thing you know is 20 to 13. Then we get the ball back. Defense, like, de man, defense just whew, shut down. Shut them down. Man, I'm getting to the, the, the Tennessee stats of what they did to Henry. Oh, that was, Henry was over there. He did Mike Vrabel over there all in Henry ear. And then the commentary talking about, oh, he's trying to pump up Henry. He's trying to pump you ain't out there. But I ain't feeling bad for him. Okay, so. 
we get the ball. We're going on it for a fourth. Oh, this was before the Tucker kick. My bad. This is before he hit that 52 yarder. So it was fourth and two. We went for it. Lamar throws it to JK. JK catches it, get the first down. Next thing you know, you see a flag. And in my reaction videos, you should see that. They call Willie Sneed on an offensive pass interference. Just a little, just a little show to work. And I'm sitting here like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold the presses. We got a full shove when Marlon got shoved by Brown in, two, in front of two referees in the red zone for a TD, and they didn't call it. But they're going to call Willie Sneed for a little shoulder work? So that's what we're doing. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Really? But the and shout out to Harps and every Raven player. They kept it cool. They knew the referee was going to do some iffy stuff. They kept it cool. They was like, okay. Tucker hit that 52, 2013. Then they kept talking about it. Oh, I think it was Lewis Riddick. I can't stand him. Lewis Riddick kept talking about it. Oh, they setting them up. If that was Lewis Riddick. They kept setting them up. Oh, they setting them up for a big pass. If I was them, I thought the MP Juice Man. I'm like, MP Juice Man, he's known to give up that double. When they do a double, he's known to give it up. A double step here, give it up for a bomb. He's known to do that. He just kept talking. I'm like, I was in MP Juice Man to pick it too. Next thing you know, they do a big throw. The boy, whoever he was throwing to, falls on the ground. MP Juice Man, interception, game over. Then they Lord of the Dance on that logo. And I said it in my preview. I was like, Harbaugh ain't going to have them come out there and stomp on the logo, the whole team stomp on the logo and all of that like the Titans did in the regular season. Harbaugh didn't do that in the beginning of the game. But when you're caught up in the middle of the game, when it's the fourth quarter and that was the game play, I can understand Lord of the Dance on the logo. Man. So, let's get to these stats. Let's talk about what the defense did. Ryan Tannehill had 165 yards, one TD, and MP Juice Man interception. Derrick Henry. Everybody knew Derrick Henry was going to get that ball. Mr. 2000, I think 2,076 yards, something like that, rushing. 18 carries, 40 yards, 2.2 a carry. His longest run the entire game was eight yards. And what's the big difference? I told y'all. Dirk Wolf had his other two monsters with him. Calais Campbell. Brandon Williams. McPhee was on another level. Judon was on another level. I seen Unique Ngagwe bringing the pressure. That whole PQ! He might not win defensive rookie of the year, but he played on another level. He even ghosted a person. You will see the play. But, as I was saying, different level. They dominated that offensive line for the Titans. The defense dominated them. The Ravens defense dominated that whole line. And they kept saying, in order to slow down Henry, do not let him get to that second level. And I was telling people on Twitter, I was seeing it in 
the press uh press conference throughout the week. Brandon Williams. I'm go I'm just okay, my thoughts individual player. That's how I'm gonna do this. Brandon Williams, his face, he usually do the, you know, be smiling that serious. He's like, this is not happening. They disrespected us last time. And a lot of Ravens players didn't even know about the logo until after. So they disrespected us, balled out. Derek Wolf, he even said he said he played. He can't relate to what happened in the playoffs last year because he was not here. But for this year, he was the only one out there. Derek Wolf. And he said this was his revenge game. He took it personal. That they ran up and down the field. Then Calais Campbell. When they showed Calais Campbell coming into the game on the bus, whatever, and walking into the stadium, his face, oh my. You know they look at the camera or something. He was so much in the zone. I was like, this dude is going to be beast. And that's exactly what he did. A.J. Brown, he did his thing. Six receptions, want to push out for the TD. But he got 83 yards. And after that, it was just squash. Like I said, in the defense, like I said, for the Ravens, Pernell McPhee, solo. Tackles was five. Based it. Derek Wolf, Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peter, Deshaun Elliott, Jahar Ward, Matthew Judah, and Tyrus Brown. Look, go on and on. They all have three in up. Chuck Clark, Malik Harrison, Justin Matabuki. He got two. But another level. That man, and a total of five QB hits. That defense shut him down. And the haters, they just kept, even before the game, they picked, uh, what was that, Rex picked, Rex picked um, Ravens. Randy Moss picked Ravens, then the other three. They picked the Titans. And, oh, Derrick Henry. And that run game. And Rex and Randy said, "You look, both teams are dynamic running. But the Ravens have three dynamic runners while the Titans have one. And the Titans did whoop them in the earlier in the season. But that wasn't a fully healthy Ravens team like it was today. And they're on their peak and they're on their stride. Lamar Jackson passing 179 yards, zero, zero TDs. And with that one interception, that was special. Uh, he got sacked five times. Offensive line played. They played, they played pretty decent. Um, but a couple, they just that. And I give a shout-out to the Tennessee defense. They was not trying to let Lamar get out their pocket to make more plays. But he Lamar was playing Lamar ball. So, Lamar ended for his rushing 136 yards. One TD, 8.5 yards average. Woo! J.K. and Gus. J.K. had 43. Gus had 38. Even uh, Hollywood, he's back to Hollywood now. He's back to Hollywood. He had 19 rushing yards. Some of them plays were scary too. But for his receiving, he had seven receptions, 109 yards, 15.6 yards. And his longest was 28. Then Mark Andrews. See this and this fully healthy. Last year when they played us in the playoffs, Mark Ingram, that's before JK. Mark Ingram, he was injured. Mark Andrews was injured. Well, we had so many banged up people. But this is not the same Ravens as last year. And also that 
Marlon Humphrey even just said it that Lamar did a Zoom call with the entire team last night just to let him know through his little speech before the game. Marlon even said he he had that feeling where we just going to win. We know it. And that's what I was saying in my same preview is just certain games you just know. Just like when I brought up the 20, uh, 2011 Ravens where they lost against Patriots and then 2012 we're in the same boat. And I was like, oh, we win, we win in this game. Even uh, that whole week. And that's how I'm feeling this week. You just know. But, man. And wait till y'all see that reaction video. Oh, my goodness. I'm doing the edits on it. And I'm like, just seeing the game over again. Oh, man. Stephen A doubted us. But, you know, Stephen A, I, I really don't care for him. He's... That's another thing. I ain't gonna talk about that fool. But Lamar has finally won his first playoff game of many. Haters can hate. Ravens up. Titans down. Let's keep this train going. Everybody stay safe. God bless.